Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular WordPress video, we will understand how to create a mega menu. So if you have seen multiple websites having big size menus, that is called mega menu. And if you also want to create one similar for your WordPress website, then how to do it? That is the agenda for this video. So stay tuned, watch the video till the end, follow all the steps as it is. And if you are new on the channel, please follow and subscribe to the channel right now. So right now you can see on our website right now we have a header which is very simple header we have a logo we have three options and we have social media icons we don't have any mega menu so in order to create a mega menu let's go to wordpress dashboard go to plugins click on add new plugin so here the mega menu creation will be done using a simple plugin that is called elements kit so you just need to create search for elements kit search for elements kit and once you search for elements kit you will find multiple plugins but you need to install this plugin that is called elements kit add-on right so click on install now and once you install this plugin you need to simply activate the plugin as well so here the installation is done now click on activate once you click on activate it will be activated on your wordpress website we installed this elements kit but we did not configure this so once we need to come on to the settings page of this plugin and then we can simply go on next step just basic simple step next step right click on next step and then click on next step right so these are the options that you need to just check out once when you activated the plugin just for the setting and configuration page so that everything in place. Once the first time configuration is done, now the second step is go to the header and footer inside elements kit. Click on this header and footer. We are going to create uh, one header. So we'll click on add new button and we'll name it as header. Type will be header entire site and we need to activate. Click on save changes. Once you click on save changes, now we need to design this header. So for that, we will click on edit. We'll click on edit and we'll click on edit content. So from here, you will get multiple options of pre-made templates through which you can choose your header. So you will need to click on this icon that is elements kit. And from here, you can go to sections. And from here, category, you will see option called header. And in sections, you can see there are plenty of option of headers. So whatever header you like, you can choose that so in order to view the preview of header you can just simply click on this plus icon and you will see how the header looks like if you like this header you can go ahead with this if you don't like it you can you know explore more so for example i like this one this one right so we can install it so click on insert template will be installed as your header in just a couple of seconds and you can see this is installed so right now it is asking for an image as our logo so just change the image so we need to use our own logo which we have for our website. So here we will go and use our logo that our logo and here it will it is asking for a menu. So we just need to select our menu that is our primary menu we have select. You can see the arrow is there. The menu is there and now we can just update this page. So our header is there. In order to check this, we'll come back to the website. This was our old header. Now refresh the website once and you can see the header is changed. You can remove the previous header and now you can see the header is there. But as of now, the mega menu is not looking properly. So we'll go to dashboard and now to enable mega menu, we'll go to appearance, click on menus. So whatever menu we have, we have already inserted in our header and to enable mega menu, we need to select this option and we need to select from which particular option we need to show the mega menu. So let's say we want to on home page. So click on mega menu. You need to enable this, right? Once it is enabled, click on edit mega menu content. Once you click on mega menu content, so similarly how we inserted header using a template, similarly we can use uh, any particular mega menu. So let me just delete this one and now you will see this kind of a screen. So click on this option again, go to sections and from here you need to search for mega menu that is under category, you will find it here that is mega menu. Click on mega menu and now you will see multiple options related to mega menu. You can choose and you know use as per your reference. So for example, I like this one. So I will just click on insert and this mega menu will be inserted on the home say home particular section. And now here you can just, you know, play around with the images. So let's say if you want to change this image, then you can go for another image. You can change the category name. You can change the links here from uh, in order to change the link. You need to just come on to this thing from here. You can change the text. Let's say we want to change it. For example, mobile, for example, right? So mobile is the name and then here you can give it the link 
so whatever link you have for a mobile page you can provide here and similarly similar way you can change the entire mega menu and then once it is done you can click on update so you can customize the mega menu as per your choice but i just mentioned how to create mega menu or how to enable mega menu once you are done click on close and from here settings you can uh, decide either it is a full width or default or a custom width mega menu position as default relative enable edge load yes or no so you can just play around with this option and see which one fits you better once you are done click on save changes come back to the website reload the website once and we made changes on the home page so you can see home but right now <coughs> since home a uh, section is there on the, on the right hand side that's why the mega menu is also on the right hand side so we can change it by coming back to mega menu go to settings and instead of relative we can so show default and then click on save and then click on save menu once it is done come back to the website refresh the website once and now if i hover on the home you can see the mega menu is looking perfectly you can you know reduce the size you can reduce the options that you have you can change the option if you don't like any content let's say if you don't want this particular uh slider in the footer of the mega menu then you can go on to mega menu again click on edit mega menu and then from here so you can simply delete or remove that particular section which you don't want to show in your mega menu so for example i don't want to show this slider which is in the last so i just need to delete this like this update the content once the content is updated come back save the changes once the same changes are saved and last one save the menu once the menu is saved come back to the website refresh the website once and now if you again hover on it you can see the uh, slider or the carousel part which was there in the uh, bottom section of the mega menu is gone now the only four row four columns are there with the images that we want so that's how you can create mega menu on your wordpress website step by step without any paid plugin without any technical knowledge i hope you liked the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side whenever we upload a new video on our youtube channel i will catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day